Hi, I'm Shannon at Mira Geoscience. This video provides an introduction to the new 2D profile and section viewer now available in Geoscience Analyst. In the profile viewer, select a curve and a block model and data to show as sections and graphs. As I step through the lines, green and red squares in the viewport indicate where the start and end of the profile are. Click Add Data to show more profiles on the graph. Use the Line Picker to select a line directly from the viewport. Easting and northern grid lines can be plotted on the graph and the spacing interval can be changed. The legend shows the names of the profile data, color, and symbol settings of the graph. You can move it by right-clicking and choosing one of the location options. The y-axis will rescale to accommodate all profile data as you step through the lines. To lock it, select Fixed Range and enter a minimum and maximum value. Change the y-axis title by entering a new name in the text box. New graphs can be added to the view with their own set of settings. Double-click on the tab to rename the title. In the new graph, we will select a multi-element data group consisting of 14 EM time channels and display them in a log scale. The profile colors are interpolated between the start and end color. Use the slider bars to show a subset of the channels. The colors will update as the selection changes. To change the colors, you can click on the square. To delete a graph, click on the Delete button. To maximize the view, hide the data selection and settings area by pulling the vertical handle all the way to the left. Use the Line Selection slider to step through the profiles or click on the Line Picker and select a line directly from the viewport. Data values and distance along the line will be reported as the mouse hovers over the samples. Click a sample to select it in the Profile Viewer, the Viewport, the Data Table, and the Colors Table. Finally, the red-green line indicator squares can be turned off in the viewport by clicking on the button. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Geoscience Analyst tips.